Hi folks, I did this uh, for Patreon yesterday and I put a trailer of it on YouTube and um, I decided that it's very dull there's not a lot of life in this area I quite like it as a painting but the shape of this is wrong I went up too high, I just want to bring that those trees down here I don't want to do detail, I want to create an impression of detail so I'm going to do a lot of stippling, but before I do, I'm going to get some light red and I've got plenty of oil here. Use a bit of a bit of sap green and a bit of a bit of the red ochre. Can use a bit of paint grey. Uh, let's just we'll need more need more paint on that, that's too much oil. A little bit of blue on there. Then we've got paint grey, sort of paint grey. Let's uh, come down here. Now this is shiny. Yesterday when I started this I decided that it needed quite a bit of uh, red in it but the red I had was cadmium red and I, I wasn't too happy with it so I scraped it off and put out some red ochre forgetting, not, not realising that the red ochre is oil and not acrylic and this is an oil painting. So I carried on painting with it, you can see showing through, but it's all dry, it's, it, it's, it hasn't been detrimental to the overall effect, I hope, well not ultimately anyway. So we get some, we we'll change that shape there, get some nice oil, I'll we'll change, I'll go into the sky as well. And this will, I can counter change quite a bit on that. But I want to cover what I've put on in this area, change the shape. So I've just had a bit of fun with it. It's a sort of meadow going off into into the blue yonder. Now I can add a bit of cad yellow to that to sort of start to brighten it up a little bit. I'm using linseed oil, purely uh, boiled linseed oil. Um, I mix it with a bit of cad, cad yellow pile. So we get some sort of sort of leaves in here. Might put some orange in. I don't want to put detail in. I, I can't scrape out because it's it's not. Uh, light underneath. So this is going to be now an oil painting. Okay. Plenty of scope for uh, this and that. I'm going to put some paints grey out. I'm going to buy some more of this. Ah, this is very old and it's very stiff. A bit like me. I will redo the sky, but it's so. Uh, oh, this is more a traditional way of painting, whereas before we were using uh, a, a, a white gessoed primed board. This is uh, this is twenty four inches by twenty. Lovely stuff to work on. It's three millimeter MDF. It's a bit of oil. I bought five large sheets of it with five large sheets or six large sheets of of the thinner two two millimeter one. But anything beyond sixteen by twelve inches, uh, you need, do really need to th get a thicker thicker one more rigid in the frame, less likely to buckle. I don't think, I've not had any problem with MDF in the past. It's a great surface to work on. It's cheap, it's thin, which means that, let's just tie that bit, that you can uh, cut it quite easily and you can s store it when it's uh, dry of course. Mm. 
はい。A bit of poker in there. Yeah, let's just get a bit of leaf, leafage coming down here. I need to thicken that up a bit, but I'm going to put the white back, or well, the lighter colours. This is just a basic kind of painting. Now, now there's a dryer in the oil. I haven't done an oil painting for a while, I've done, because tracing on the watercolours. For you and for Patreon. Okay, well that's not looking bad. Yellow, cage yellow pale with a mix of sap green, a bit of yellow ochre, just to give some variety in it, really. But I don't want to go down too far with that light, lighter colour, I, I want that to counter change against the meadow bit. We'll let that go off a bit and just do a bit of foreground. So now we've got plenty of uh, dark to counter change against the light. So grasses, ferns, all sorts of nice things. A bit of, bit of white. Right, that's it, that's a bit of white, a bit of ochre. I don't like that now. Let's put a bit of a bit of ochre. This is my path down here. 
path through. Now yeah, that's nice and bright. Right, swig of me green tea. Lovely. A bit of, bit of light red with that ochre. Right, I'm liking this more now. Now let's get some nice green, so sap green and a good bit of cadmium yellow pale. It's quite a bright green. Add a bit of white to that. Push, pull, dab, change brush strokes. I'm going to put some shadow back in this as well, but I just want to get some of this, get this light, lovely light area done. Ferns, bracken, now I've got a bit of cadmium red deep hue, Winsor Newton, Winton, because I only use student qualities to make it cheap for all of us. So let's have a bit of red, a bit of blue, a bit of oil, then we can get some nice shadow. Just change the brush. These are only cheap brushes. Oh, look at that. Some shadow in here. Right, let's get some back with that yellow greeny colour.
the um, purple is the complementary to orange. Catching a bit of light. I'll be pu putting poppies back in this. I'll just make it a little bit orange. the sky to do yeah I'm actually, you've got the whole picture in the frame. I'm not truncating this. All right. Now this, get fed up there. Let's uh, go off a little bit. Let's put to some stippling. Just creating the impression of leaves, detail, just variety. Oh, that's much better. Okay, we'll do some of the other side. Then we'll get on with some uh, some sky. Uh, what was I using? There? Cadmium yellow pale and sap green, a bit of ochre. Touch it already now. Eh? 
Yeah, that's that. Now that's looking bright, isn't it? <coughs> right now, a bit of white and a bit of bit of ochre. Now I'm going to put a bit of shadow in there. All right, let's put some some of that uh, red ochre in there. Oh, I need some grassy colour. Right, let's uh, change that brush. Let's uh, another one. A uh, bit feathery. I'll just uh, <coughs> excuse me. Pair of scissors. Give it a haircut. Okay. Right now we'll do a bit of let's do a bit of a bit of ultramarine. Plenty of oil. Plenty of oil there, just so I can cover it quickly because I'm running out of time now. A bit of ultramarine and white. Overlap everywhere. Now we don't need any clouds in that. Well, I mean, apart from those. Uh, but then again, having said that, let's uh, see if we can get a bit of a uh, bit of red, a bit of blue, a bit more blue. Sorry, I can't show you the mixing list. I like that. No, we'll change it. Right, so go back with white, white and yellow ochre, touch of touch of red, plenty of oil. I'll blend all this afterwards. Get some into that. Uh, Into the blue. Dude, these brushes are great for this.
Look, oh, just add some light in the uh, Put some air back into into this. I can add some. Just just add some see through bird holes. I'll go back to that. All right, carry, carry on with the yellow ochre, white, a touch of red, a bit of oil. Oh, I don't know, put some of that back. Uh, we can put some green back in that. Clearly, with that green, right to some. Run out of cage yellow, so we'll put some more. Come on, where is it? Cage yellow. Oh, have got a big tube of it. Well, there we are. Right, I'll still got a bit of sap green. I want to still put some more grasses in here, uh, which is the one I was using. That one. So, so far I've only used two brushes. Lovely. I've got to blend that sky yet. There's a lot of cage yellow with a bit of that sap green. Right, okay. Uh, clean the brush and we'll do some bit of red. Bit of poppy red.
Right now I'll mix a bit of uh, white with uh, some of that. Well, I just want to get a better shape there, I think. All right, now how about some white? Some neat white. Just groups of wildflowers. Um, right now, I've got a good clean, I need another bit of rag. So here we go. Been doing this for 32 minutes, is that all? Right, I want to blend now. Right, now I've not put any detail in that other than what I've got from two, a two inch and an inch and a half brush. A very, very, well, these brushes are cheap, cheap, very cheap. Um, not happy about that, that's the glaring hole there. That's a, A bit of dark green back in some of this here. No, I don't like that. Don't like that shape there. But, uh, well, we're just going with some uh, ochre and white. Oh, I'll put some white or some off white back in here. Got to be careful with this. We want to look at it as if it's behind the leaves rather than in front. Just little bits of air.
Right, I'm going to let that go. I, I could put some tr little trunks in, but I think it, it would just defeat the objects of it, of what I've been trying to do here. Right, you can still see my signature. Uh, I guess I'm just a little bit of, bit of lighter stuff here, maybe. Okay, I'm going to call that a day. Okay, I'll cover the board up with uh, my palette. I'll show you my palette. Not that you haven't seen it before, but there we are. Just a lump of uh, melamine, like it's a, it's a base of a drawer, hardboard. So there we are, I don't like wasting paint, so I cover that with a bit of cling film. Uh, put that in the right, okay, well I hope you like that folks. I'll put it in a, in a frame, again, so you can, we'll all have a look at, see how good or Bad is. <coughs> One, two. Well, I'll bring you back so that you can see from a distance. <coughs> there, I think we've uh, sorted that out. <laughs> what you can do is uh, Got a bit of white and just try to give the impression that you've got some high flowers like oh like I don't know what you call it. I, I'm not botanical. I just love doing these. All right, okay, well that's, uh, that's fine, I can clean my brushes now and go and have some lunch. Okay, uh, thanks for watching folks, I, I hope you enjoy that. I'll come back a bit further, see if we can get the frame in. We're now about five foot away from the picture. So there it is, I think it's a, a lot better than it was. But I hope you think so, I'll get this uploaded later and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.